Welcome to the Blender Goon. In this video, we are going to be setting up our dev kit and getting it ready for us to uh, start remeshing it with B surfaces in the next video. So now that you've received your email and or note card in Second Life, go ahead and uh, open it and you'll see this first link here. We're going to click on it and you can download the star mesh body so that you have a body a demo body in Second Life to try your clothes on and make sure they're fitting properly. The next link is to Shazad's actual Google Drive, so we're going to click that. And we're going to go down to the tenth one down here, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that is the Star Mesh Body Dev Kit 3 underscore 84 dot blend. Uh, that's the version that is non-Avastar, non-Avastar, non-Bento buddy. So we're going to download this one. So go ahead and right click on that one. And we're going to go down here to download. And it will download for you. And when that's done, you can go ahead and close this and open up a version of Blender. And we're going to go to File, Open and go into your downloads because that's where it'll be select it and then right up here is a little cogwheel we want to click that and uncheck load ui if you don't you get shazad's ui and it's a mess so if you do it this way you'll get your ui so we'll go ahead and open that and that puts us in here and uh, we have the armature in pose mode so we're just going to go ahead and change it to object mode now I want to set this up to make it easier to use because it's kind of a mess. Nothing's named properly and there's extra materials on stuff. So the first thing we're going to do, um, we have the star mesh body up here selected. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And you can see that it's the armature. So on collection one, we can double click it or hit F2. And we will name this armature. And then we can go ahead and hide it. And that takes care of that. This one is feet and hands. Um, looks like the nipples have been moved. I think they were down here. But if they're not, we'll get them up in this collection here. So since this one also has the body in it, we're going to name it uh, body. So select it, F2. We're just going to name it body. So just remember your body has the feet and the hands and the nipples in it. The next one is collection three, and that's nails. So we'll just do call it nails. F2, nails, and we're going to hide that and hide this. So that's the armature to body and the nails done. This one's for stockings. We'll go ahead and rename it stockings. And hide it. Collection 5 is the toes locator. We're just going to name it uh, toes locator. And we can hide that one. This is the pregnancy body, so collection 11 will be pregnancy. I'm just going to name it Brego. Hide it. Uh, the skirt is the one we're actually going to be using, and this is the pregnancy body skirt. So 13 we're going to name Prego, Prego skirt. And hide it, and we'll name number 12. Uh, that's the one we're going to be using. <clears throat> so go ahead and select a skirt and we're going to drag this back up here and go to the colors and we're just going to remove all the materials off of it by hitting this little minus over here because we don't need any materials on it. Okay we got that done. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hide the skirt again and bring the body back up because I want to get rid of the uh, all the materials off of this also because that one nipple's goofy and red. So go ahead and select that nipple and you should still be on your materials tab and just remove all the materials off of those and you can select the body all these materials came from the stockings I'll show you that in a minute but uh, we're going to remove all those materials off of the body and then we have to do the hands as well and the feet all three different versions I think we can go here and yeah, that works and we'll just remove one more I'm just going to remove them manually just as fast and get all three feet materials removed 
<clears throat> so now the body doesn't have any materials at all so that's that's good okay so now all we got to do is save this thing so that we can have our master clothing file for star mesh body here uh, you guys can save it with the armature and the body out um, I'm going to actually save mine with the skirt out because that's what I'm going to be using in the next video. Uh, you guys can save it however you want, but everything's nicely named and ready to go. I also forgot I was going to show you the uh, reason all those colors was on there. And that is because of the stockings. So these stockings, they have materials on there already. And what's nice about them is when you're in uh, Second Life, because it's got all these different materials, you can make a pair of stockings socks pretty much like this and hide each uh, material in Second Life with just you know uh, by turning the uh, visibility off on it or transparency on it and that'll hide it and make different length socks for your stockings or whatever you want it's it's nice that he put all these materials on us for for us but we didn't need them on the bodies and everything else so let me go back here go to skirt file I'm gonna save as desktop I'm gonna name it uh, actually I'm not gonna save it in desktop I'm gonna actually save it in my dev kits folder go ahead and make yourself a dev kit folder because eventually you'll collect some other dev kits if you don't already have some and I already have a star mesh body one in here but I'm gonna name this SMB uh, Video master. Yeah. And save as. So that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe. And if you want to support me, go ahead and join my Patreon. I'll have a link to my first video where we uh, apply for this dev kit uh, attached onto the video and I will see you guys in the next one.